since it is a perfectly inelastic collision what we are studying it so and law of conservation of kinetic energy is not obeyed that means energy is not conserved so the body is going to lose kinetic energy so i am taking perfectly inelastic collision let us consider this mass is m1 then moving with the velocity u1 and another mass we take it as m2 moving with the velocity u2 now u1 is greater than u2 so what will happen this body will come and hit after collision at the time of collision what happened a force is exchanged and some energy is lost here because the collision is perfectly inelastic collision after collision these two bodies stick together and move they move as a single body with the speed or velocity v so this total mass will now become m1 plus m2 into v so as uh, simply if we use law of conservation of linear momentum m1 u1 plus m2 u2 should be equal to m1 plus m2 into v kinetic energy before collision kinetic energy after collision let us calculate kinetic energy before collision before collision means kinetic energy of first body plus the kinetic energy of the second body half of m1 into u1 square plus half of m2 into u2 square kinetic energy of the body after collision now the total mass is together so it will be m1 plus m2 and they are moving together so velocity will be v square since the body is stick together in move as they stick together and move so we got kinetic energy before collision kinetic energy after collision if we take the difference between kinetic energy of before collision and after collision if the energy is losing say loss of kinetic energy we want to calculate loss in kinetic energy means if we take kinetic energy before collision minus kinetic energy after collision and if this is positive then the initial energy is more than the final energy if there is a gain in kinetic energy so kinetic energy before collision will be less than kinetic energy after collision so we need to substitute these values and simplify to get the value of whether there is a loss or gain we will calculate loss in kinetic energy that means kinetic energy before collision minus the kinetic energy after collision kinetic energy before collision is more than the kinetic energy after collision so answer will be positive let us substitute in this kinetic energy before collision means we can take the total kinetic energy of the first body and the second body half of m1 u1 square plus half of m2 into u2 square this is kinetic energy of the first body and thus kinetic energy of second body before collision kinetic energy after collision we know half of now the masses stick together and move m1 plus m2 into v square correct now we will calculate value of v and substitute in this by law of conservation of linear momentum so initial mass is m1 m1 u1 second body mass is m2 m2 into u2 after the collision they combine together and move so m1 plus m2 the common speed is v so simply we can get v is equal to m1 u1 plus m2 into u2 divided by m1 plus m2 let us substitute this value in this equation we are calculating loss in kinetic energy let me take this equation as 1 substituting in one we can simplify and get the value substituting in equation 1 so loss in kinetic energy will be equal to half of m1 u1 square plus half of m2 into u2 square kinetic energy before collision minus half of m1 plus m2 into v square now we got the value of v in equation number 2 we can substitute here m1 u1 plus m2 u2 divided by m1 plus m2 whole square this is the kinetic energy after collision expanding and simplifying we can do in the next page and see what is the loss in kinetic energy loss in kinetic energy that is equal to half of i'll take common m1 u1 square plus m2 into u2 square let us expand the second term m1 plus m2 we cancel out so second term will become m1 square u1 square plus m2 square u2 square plus 2 m1 plus m1 m2 into u1 u2 i expanded the numerator denominator 1 m1 plus m2 will cancel out m1 plus m2 taken out half i have kept it outside so we can also write half of m1 plus m2 taken common now we can write we have to take common so we have to take lcm so m1 square u1 square plus m1 m2 u1 square plus you have m2 square u2 square this is u2 u2 square plus m1 m2 into u2 square minus this term this expanded term 
minus m1 square u1 square minus m2 square u2 square minus 2 m1 m2 u1 u2 okay so we can write it as 1 by 2 m1 plus m2 taken common see what terms gets cancelled m1 square u1 square and here also we have minus m1 square u1 square m2 square u2 square minus m2 square u2 square so we are left out with m1 m2 u1 square plus m1 m2 u2 square minus 2 m1 m2 u1 u2 so we can take m1 m2 also common m1 m2 by 2 times of m1 plus m2 left over u1 square plus u2 square minus 2 u1 u2 so loss in kinetic energy we have calculated as half of m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 into this term can be written as u1 minus u2 whole square positive value indicates that always there is a loss in kinetic energy in perfectly inelastic collision if the collision is not perfect in elastic collision then we can write because it is not an elastic collision if elastic collision is there then there is no loss in kinetic energy but here also there will be loss in kinetic energy a coefficient of restitution is given in a similar fashion as we derived now we can also derive it as m1 half of m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 into u1 minus u2 whole square into 1 minus e square this will be the loss in kinetic energy if the coefficient of restitution is given in case of perfect elastic collision e value is equal to 0 we get back the equation half m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 u1 minus u2 whole square 